Hey everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel. My name is Greg and in today's video, I'm going to be engraving this black anodized aluminum plaque. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me in another video on the Laser Channel. Today's project of engraving this plaque is going to be a lot of fun, but I don't want to spend a whole lot of time doing it. This shop, I'm very fortunate that I have access to a lot of different machines, including laser diode machines, CO2 laser machines, and a third option that I'll talk about in just a minute. This is what the completed plaque is going to look like, and I've got a stack of 20 of them to do. So this is where my machine selection comes into play. When I load the graphic into Lightburn software and I hit the preview button, I get an estimated time on how long this will take. With the laser diode running at 100 millimeters per second, this plaque is going to take one hour and five minutes. This project would then take me several days to complete. I do have a CO2 laser machine and I can easily double that speed to 200 millimeters per second However, it doesn't half the completion time because there's this over travel time of the laser head. It needs to slow down, stop, and reverse direction for scanning or engraving the next line. I do have some time savings. I go from an hour and five minutes with the laser diode down to 50 minutes with a CO2 laser, but that's still too much time that I'd like to spend on this project. Now this is where the third machine option comes into play. I'm going to be using my CloudRate 50 watt fiber laser. And this thing is insanely fast. It's crazy powerful. I've got some settings in the computer that I'll show you in just a minute, but I bump up the speed from 200 millimeters per second in a CO2 laser up to 800 millimeters per second. The fiber laser is capable of going much faster than that. It can go upwards of 2,500 to 3,000 millimeters per second. So that's insanely fast. And it doesn't have this overscan uh, distance that the other lasers have. So we'll check that out and we'll meet up in Lightburn. Here's the quick look of what my machine center looks like. This is the CloudRay fiber laser. This is the main power supply. This has the laser source inside of it. There's some control buttons on the front, my computer monitor and keyboard, and then back to the fiber laser. Here's the laser tube. And then here's where all the speed in the magic happens inside of the laser head right here. This machine is so fast because there's no laser head that moves back and forth. Instead, there's two mirrors inside here and each mirror oscillates back and forth to move the laser around in the work area. We'll also see that I still have the lens cap on because there is the string hanging down. And I did this because I wouldn't say that I haven't already burned a hole through my lens cover. I've got my computer powered on, Lightburn is running, and I've got the graphic loaded in. And here when I click on the graphic, we'll see that the overall dimensions are about three inches wide by about five inches tall. Let's check out the settings that I'll be running. The speed is again set at 800 millimeters per second, crazy, crazy fast. The max power, 40% power, and the frequency is running at 50 kilohertz. This CloudRay machine that I have is rated between 50 kilohertz and 100 kilohertz, and I'll get more into that in a future video. I have the lines per inch set at 400, and I've got crosshatch enabled, and I have the crosshatch going at 45 degree angles, and that's really everything that I need on this screen. I'm all set to go. There's only two things that I need to do yet. The first one is there's a protective layer on this anodized aluminum card and I'll peel that back off, making sure I don't get any fingerprints on it. The second thing that I'll need to do is turn on my exhaust system and I've got that right here. It's just outside of the frame. And as you can see, I use a tape measure clipped onto the hose and that keeps 
my exhaust hose in place right next to the work. I've just got to put some goggles on, turn that exhaust on, and hit the start button. The card's all complete, and just check out all of this awesome detail. I don't think there's a scan line out of place on here. Everything is clean and sharp, and it only took a couple of minutes to complete this one plaque. The first plaque is all complete out of this order of 20. And I always like to pause after the first plaque or item comes off of that fiber laser. I just like to admire just how fast that fiber laser is without sacrificing quality. Again, all the detail lines on here turned out absolutely perfect. Before I wrap things up here so that I can finish out the rest of this order, I wanted to mention that even though the fiber laser is running very fast and it's got a lot of laser energy power, it did not warp this thin aluminum plaque whatsoever. And that's something that I run into issue sometimes using a different type of laser source. So it's always nice to be able to have a variety of machines to go to and make sure that you've got the perfect machine to match up the speed and the quality that you're looking for in your project. This was a fun and easy project to share with you. I hope that you liked this video and you got to see some more of the fiber laser in the shop here in action. Please consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, or ringing that notification bell. Doing any number of those things helps the channel out but even more so, it's a great way to connect content like this with great viewers like you. Until next time, learn, create, and share.